Varsity Sports on Midco Sports Network is presented by Shields. And welcome back. Well, Tagan Larson has had to overcome early season injuries the past two seasons, but she's finally playing at full strength and she's carrying her young team to their best basketball of the season. Here's Jason with more. Well, thanks, Jay. Tagan Larson is a standout athlete in every sense of the word. She not only shines on the basketball court, but also on the volleyball court. Although she loves both sports, she said it was in middle school when she made the decision to pursue basketball as her college sport. Well, it looks like she made the right decision. Saying Tag and Larson comes from an athletic family might be an understatement. Her brother Cody Larson stars for the SDSU basketball team. Her sister Wagner plays volleyball at the same school. So when her brother Cody said that Tagan is the athlete of the family, that's saying something. Well, it's super helpful for me because I get to watch my brother and sister play and they've always kind of been the ones to kind of create the path for me and show me things and just be my role models. And so having them growing up was like really beneficial for me. When it came time for Tagan to choose a school, she considered an offer from SDSU but fell in love with the University of Iowa after a visit. I visited a few schools and once I got to the University of Iowa, I knew like right away that I loved it, I loved everything about it, coaches, the teammates, campus. One of the reasons that Iowa was so interested in Tagging is her versatility. She can shoot, drive, pass, defend, and block shots. And she'll do whatever it takes for her team to win and lately, they've needed her to do a lot. I like to refer to her as like the garbage collector because she will, not you know, not that we throw up a lot of garbage or whatever, but she cleans up messes. I mean, whether it's blocking shots, altering shots, or just being there, I mean, she changes the whole, the whole com complexity of our defense. I mean, you, she can play any, any spot on the floor defensively. She can guard guards and posts. And, um, she can also score from a lot of different spots and I think for those younger kids just knowing that she's she's there on the court it has a calming effect on them. You'll see when there are dead parts of the game she'll gather them together and kind of do that team mom finger shake like get it together guys and she's got such a good a personality for that too. She's, she's laid back and easygoing but very competitive at the same time and um, she's real approachable and the players just love playing with her. The only way to shut down Tagan over her high school career has been injuries. Well, it's definitely been difficult to get back and play through them. Um, my sophomore, my junior year, I had a stress fracture in my right foot. And then this year, about a couple of practices before our first game, I sprained my ankle really bad. It's been really hard trying to nurse the ankle injury. Um, it's still kind of giving me a little trouble, but um, it's getting better slowly. Despite missing over a month of action this season, Tagan has come back stronger than ever and she's focused on taking her team, the Roosevelt Rough Riders, as far as she can. Larson has had to assume a leadership role on a very young team this season, a role that she is still growing into. It can be stressful at times, kind of having that pressure on you, but my teammates are great. They find me all the time and find the open pass, and um, they're really good at looking for me down low or, through or in transition. So it's kind of fun being that go-to person, but again, like they always have to be ready to step up because some nights I'm not like at my best, and so the other girls step up a lot and really take a lot of the weight off my shoulders. Here is a look at Taggart's senior season stats. Jason, obviously pretty impressive, but you also have to wonder uh, what maybe might have been had she been able to play the whole season. Exactly. Both of the last two seasons, even uh, though she's been out to injury parts of the last two seasons, she's still over 1,000 points for her career. She's the all-time leading rebounder, and we're talking about a school, Roosevelt here, yeah. who had a pretty nice streak going uh, you know, in the 90s and the 2000s. Um, all-time leading rebounder, all-time leading in block shots. Uh, you look at her season stats and you know the points per game at 19 and the rebounds at nine they all kind of make sense blocks per game we know she can swat shots at three and a half per game but a 47 percent three-point yeah. shooter i mean that's the one that stands out for me I, I think that that's also the reason that the university of iowa is very interested in tagging larson you know when we started to recruit tag and we knew she came from a highly successful high school program 
And so we knew she was a winner, but it was her versatility that really uh, grabbed our attention, is that she is a 6-1 wing player that can really play the 2, the 3, or the 4. So she's a very versatile player. Uh, she can beat you off the bounce. She's uh, ability to stretch out the defense. And so she can just do a little bit of everything, and she's a really fine athlete, a, a outstanding volleyball player as well. Well, eight teams are hoping to capture a little magic in Minot this weekend. We'll preview the North Dakota State B Girls Basketball Tournament with Ryan Holmgren from the Minot Daily News when we come back. Varsity Sports on Midco Sports Network is presented by AE Tech Electrical Training Center in Rapid City.